So I'm here with Ziggy Blumenthal. How's it going? And uh, he has uh, two great comics here. And here comics. the greatest comics. <laughs> uh, one is Sidekicks. And um, I thought the premise of this one was pretty awesome. So it, it kind of really turns everything on its head. Because uh, why don't you go and explain it to me? Yeah, so basically you have a city with superheroes and the superheroes have sidekicks. But the sidekicks end up getting a little more popular than the superheroes are. So as a PR move, the mayor, he promotes all the sidekicks to hero and demotes the heroes to sidekicks. Hilarity ensues. Yeah, so what I, what I really liked about the idea is the fact that um, your, your sidekicks are usually, you know, if you look back at the way Batman treats Robin, or you know the way that uh, Green Arrow treats Speedy. They're, they're, uh, at least in the older comics, they're, they're kind of almost abusive to them, you know. And so, what would happen if they had the power? Right. And the sidekicks, being immature as they are, they do abuse the power. <laughs> you know, they get their they get their heroes who are now their sidekicks to wash their cars <laughs> and, and do that sort of thing. All the while, there's a looming villain plot going on that was all you know not everything is as it seems except for if, unless it seems funny <laughs> that rule of funny is always the best yes <laughs> so so uh, the other thing you told me is that it's, it's complete already complete story four issues one two three and four and uh, yeah I actually just finished it like a week ago so the, the thing I like about that in independent comics is when it's done you know that um, Anyone can die, anything can happen, because mm -hmm. it's not like Spider-Man, you know he has to come back. Everyone always has to come back in the real comics, but in, you know, it, when I read an indie comic, you know, anything can happen, because, and it's done, you know, it's not like, oh, this guy's gonna survive, if he doesn't, or does, I don't know, because I haven't read it, but, you know, everybody dies. Yeah, every, oh, the, whole, uh, the whole world blows up. Well, what, that, I, I didn't expect that from such a silly <laughs> premise. Yes, it's all very, it just takes a really dark turn at the end. And uh, uh, speaking of dark turns, you have another comic. Yes, also quite silly. Operation uh, Pajama Pants. Operation Pajama Pants. This one was just, uh, also just finished. This one is in a beautiful hardcover. And this one is also in full color, if I can open to a page sure. with actual yeah. comic on it. <laughs> and um, beautiful cover by Amanda Connor. And uh, yeah, in this one, you have a guy, that an archaeologist, that finds ancient magical pajama pants of a Egyptian sun god, but of course it's guarded by an army of evil babies wearing funny pajamas, because why wouldn't they be? Of course. And imagine how awesome Indiana Jones would have been if you would have found these pajama pants. Right, and we, there's plenty of Indiana Jones jokes. In <laughs> Great. And uh, uh, generally speaking, oh, is this one a full story? This one is also a complete story. And, and uh, um, other, other than pajama pants and being hunted by babies and hoodies, anything else you want to uh, kind of talk about? Well, he, he ends up, after getting the pajama pants, he ends up on a quest to find all the nightwear of the gods. It's sort of like the pajama version of the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> he has to find a robe and bunny slippers and uh, a nightcap. That's awesome. And all and use, use all the power to fight the big evil, which I won't give that away. Sure. But, you know, it's kind of, also kind of silly. <laughs> Well, well uh, it sounds great. It sounds like something that's right up my alley. It's it's kind of taking things in a different direction, and it's also uh, kind of fun. So um, thanks for talking to me. Hey, no problem. Thank you.